Right, all right, I got that one as well. Bloody hell, my pattern's ridiculous at the minute, isn't it? Okay, we're off. Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to uh, the new subscribers. I've had a, a nice little run of new subscribers over the last uh, couple of weeks. So if you're new to the channel, hello. I'm Stuart, um, I'm supposed to be the happy golfer and uh, I'm even more happier golfer than a normal happy golfer. So uh, hopefully you guys are getting a bit of a dose of sun as well and you're able to get out on the course. Um, this week I've been having quite a big old debate on Twitter uh, with the likes of uh, Mr. Dennis Pugh. Hello Dennis, if you're watching this. Uh, and a few other guys, uh, quite a lot of other guys actually, about drive for show, putt for dough. Now, uh, they're trying to say that, well Dennis is definitely saying that longer is the search for lower scores. And I know the stats on the tour players um, it kind of works out that way but I've got to say I don't think for the average golfer which most of us are um, it actually does prove to be um, the best route speed is not always the best thing strength power and length I don't think but we'll see so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play 18 holes here at the players I'm going to add 50 yards to all my tee shots. So, um, but not just drop it in the center of the fairway. I'm gonna take the line of the shot that I've hit and add on that line 50 yards. Now, obviously, I'm probably straighter than most. I consider myself, I mean, my stats show that my, um, actual my direction, my dispersion is pretty good. So we've got that to, to kind of offset. Let's just say you're off. 15 or 20 or 25 um, obviously your dispersion is going to be a little bit different but for me I'm going to see how just on today's round what it does to my score I'm going to play everything else is normal the irons are going to be the same now I've got to say before we go on I don't have much ego on the golf course until it comes to the scores so I've actually added loft to all my irons um, because it suits me a little bit better. That's a bit of another long story. So actually when I'm hitting a seven iron, the loft and the spin numbers are actually of an eight iron, but I never tell anybody that because uh, I think it's quite fun when I'm playing against people and they look at the bag and then accidentally go over the green afterwards. <laughs> but uh, so for me, it's just all about um, getting, the, getting down as low, low as possible on that day. And in the past, I would say it's just kind of straight solid hitting and trying to have as deadly a short game as possible. So the thing that got me thinking about this is I played um, a lovely little course called Berg Hill, which is in uh, Herefordshire, and uh, just on the outskirts of Hereford. And um, I played really not very well, to be honest. I, I'll put the stats down below somewhere. Perhaps I'll put them on the screen um, from my Arcos, which I use. Now, I missed half of the fairways, so that's really bad for me. I've missed 50% um, of the fairways. I only hit nine greens, which is really bad as well for me. And I shot four under par. I basically just putted my way around. Lots of one putts, lots of up and downs. And I thought, well, surely 50 extra yards wouldn't have helped that at all. You know, I would have been deeper in the rubbish and, and uh, you know, I'd have had some, I might have had a couple more birdies, but I doubt it. You know, and I just thought, well, it doesn't really stack up for me. So I thought I'd give this little exercise a go and um, see how we get on. Here we are down the first, I'm looking for my ball. I did hit a straight, pretty good one, hopefully it's going to appear any second. So here's the first one now. Um, 
this is already pretty cruel. Now, some of you out there are going to say, yeah, but if you had another 50 yards, you'd probably only hit a three iron or a, or a positional shot. But that defeats the object of having an extra 50 yards. You understand? I think that makes sense. So here's my first shot just here. <clears throat> Now what I'm going to do here on this line, which it was actually pretty straight, um, but I would say it was kind of, there's the tee back there. So it is going towards this bush in a bunker. So I'm going to walk this on 50 yards on this first hole. I still think it'll be fine. So I'll pick it up here. One, two, three. 50. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to drop it here. Okay, in here. Okay, so I'm in the bunker, but it, it's fair. This is okay. It's a good shot because I've got some control. I don't mind being in this bunker at all. Um, and it's a par four. So, you know, that extra 50 yards in this instant, I'll probably take it because this shouldn't be too difficult a shot. Um, so that was okay. Um, it's left me with quite a nice putt. To be honest, I would have had a wedge in anyway, and I think probably that bunker shot was a little bit easier. Don't know whether you can see that, but I'm just over there. Now, I guess if you've, I guess if you've not watched the channel before, um, you need to know what it would have been. What I would have scored without the 50 yards to make the comparison. Well, I would expect normally to get around this course. I'm gonna go off the kind of, not the metal tees because the weather is quite cold. So the ball's not flying very far and uh, there's no run. So this is kind of, I'm gonna go off like a middle tee. Uh, it's still long enough and uh, let's go from here. Okay. All right. All right, so that was, yeah. I hope I don't prove myself to be absolutely wrong on this whole exercise. That's a birdie on the first. So no 50 yard advantage here. Stir par three. That's a bit rubbish. Um, middle of the green. Wow, well, left. Of... But yeah, right, should be able to two putt that. So, I guess if you've not watched the channel before, you we want to get an idea of what I would shoot normally. Um, on practice, generally speaking, I'm sort of one or two under around this course at the moment. Um, I play it quite a lot, I know it really well. And uh, so, we'll see. We'll see how we go from here. Fingers crossed. Proof's in the pudding, as they say. Okay, so I'm not going to stick 50 on this one because this really is a posi positional shot anyway. Um, there's no real point. It's normally a, a four or a three iron to lay up for your second shot. You don't want to mess with all that. And if you actually hit it with a driver, you go long into water anyway. So I've actually, <laughs> I've hit that one straight, but it got a little bit steep. So I am bit further back than what I would have liked. I could do with that extra 50 yards now, but we'll stick with the game plan so we get a good idea. Oh, geese and that. All right, fellas, calm down, calm down. Things we got to deal with. Anyway, middle of the fairway. 
probably uh, try and get a safe shot into the middle of the screen. Go from there. Right, normally, if I hadn't have hit a steep one, I would have got on this bump and it would rolled an extra 60 yards, but because it went a bit steep, I'm okay, I'm in the middle of the fairway, but I got 190, which is my forearm. Oh, a bit short. It's a bit annoying. I hit that quite well, but it's off an upslope and it is actually into the wind quite a bit today. Anyway, still do a chip and a putt. Not sure if you can see the green on this angle, but uh, it's really tricky this shot. Don't like it, it's not a good miss. Long is the better miss, but I've got to try and float one up there. Hope I got some touch this morning. Not too bad. A little bit skinny. It's kind of holdable. This is one of the places, this, I mean, this is my, partly the reason for this. Look, I've got, I've got that in now. Now, if I was an extra 50 yards in length, but not a very good putter, this is a classic way of dropping a shot. I'll hold on the first. I had a good two putt on the second. So to me, it's been all about putting already. And this is a little twirly one. You know, if I hold this, it's actually a really good putt. You know, if I miss it, it's a drop shot. Okay, drop shot. You see that had nothing to do with length off the tee. It was just all about, just I could have just so easily have made par then. Um, all I wanted was a half decent putt. Oh well, well, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It might make, these are kind of the shorter holes. We've got some longer holes coming up, a lot of longer holes, because this course is a, a championship length course. Um, I guess we'll see, we'll see, let's see how it gets on. Par three next, 177. I come, it's coming out at 195 this. Oh, hang on mate, you're on a bit of a skew, there you go. 195, so I'm gonna hit my three iron. We just, oh, we just don't wanna miss it right. Left's fine, you can chip and putt, but right is dead, so. Anything on the green or left. Oh my God. Right, that's the trouble with using one of these three hands, occasionally. Now, I normally, I would normally hit that off of a tee. I don't hit it into greens very often, but my forearm is about 195 and we're just kind of slightly into the wind here. Uh, and I've just hit that one 230 and that's up a big tee bank and the pins on the back, absolute disaster. Straight at it, but wrong club. And that was just because those, those sort of kind of like, it's not quite a hybrid. It's a, it's a ping crossover. Um, it's usually really nice off the tee and nice and easy to hit and flies quite high, but every now and again, one flies and you just hope it's when you're hitting it off the, uh, uh, using it as like a driving iron rather than into a green. 
because this one's embarrassing where I've hit this one. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Right, this is embarrassing. I feel like I've hit a really good swing. I'm right up here. That wasn't too bad, that's about 10 foot there. Again, I feel on a good putting day, this is just a knock-in par. Not to say I won't now, but we'll try. Two drop shots, that's interesting, isn't it? You know, it's just two. If I just hold those two putts, I'll be one under par. As it is, now I'm one over. This wasn't even supposed to be about putting. Like, this whole video was not supposed to be about putting per se. It was more about the advantages from extra length. But I think we're starting to see a pattern already. I'm putting okay, by the way. I just slightly just missed those. Well, I hit the hole on the last two. Um, so what I'm saying is with no, if you can try and equate this to your own game, whatever standard you play it, look at the importance of those, those two little putts. I'm now on my back foot, one over par, a little bit, I've got loads of holes to go, I'm not too worried, I, I'm sure I will get back to under par, all being well, but that was uh, just two really makeable putts and that's not you know a lifetime in the gym speed training trying to get that squeeze those extra yards possibly going through injuries to get them that is just i don't know hour a day on the putting green if you want to go mad you know holding one of those putts is really accessible for everyone um, hitting it 350 yards is not and my argument is chasing that destroys or can destroy a lot of people's enjoyment and their game and their scoring we haven't got to one yet where I've hit a good tee shot and a little bit extra or 50 yards extra puts me in the rubbish we haven't even done one of those yet but maybe or maybe not they will come but I've got a par five now and I really want to cash in on the 50 yards. See what we can do. Right, I'm now feeling like uh, Rory. Uh, I feel like I've got this uh, 370 yard tee shot in me. Uh, see how it goes, par five. I should absolutely uh, destroy this one. Well, balance is a pretty good swing. Um, ordinarily, that was okay. That's just, that's just up the right. It might miss the fairway to the right a little bit, but that's okay. And you've got to understand, this is with my swing speed. Can you even imagine if I chunked another 20 mile an hour on there? Cameron champed it. With that technique, which is not going to change overnight without a load of hard work. Anyway, I'll stop going on, but it's, it's the point of the exercise, you know. So uh, I'm up the right somewhere. Let's see where we are. Okay, quick update. Again, the ball's not flying very far, I have to say, but from this tee shot, I, I would have got up normally. I have just missed the fairway to the right by six paces, but I'm in no trouble. And if you can see here, we've got, that is looking pretty good for, for the normal shot. So here's your ball, it's plugged. So it's not rolled at all. I don't know whether you can see that. And I've got a lovely, probably, maybe some sort of um, three iron or one iron or, or maybe a three wood 
up onto the green. Pretty much not a lot of trouble, okay? Now I've come in from over here, so I'm, I, I am left of the fairway, but on with my swing speed, it's only just pushed it off the fairway there, no problems, but I'm gonna have to add, add 50 to this on that line. Nine. 50. Okay, here we are at 50. Oh, sorry, knee, knee height. I'll drop it. So yes, I'll try and get a good lie, but that's where it's gone. See what I'm talking about? All right, I'll go back and I think it's just gonna hack out up there. Right, well, I haven't been this far offline in probably two seasons. This is uh, 80 yards right at the fairway. So I've not really got a great shot and I've just got to hack out. Like I say to you guys, I'm going to try and pick a number to get to, to leave myself a half decent club in. Definitely no option to get into the green. Uh, see if I can leave myself my sort of 100 yard, as flat as I can. That is, I mean, that is, that is tough because it's lovely to know that you've got that speed under your belt, but really you need a lifetime of using it to, but you can see where this is going. I mean, I feel like I've got like a live snake man really, because if I get slightly off, it is seriously gone. And we're not talking, you know, just down the right side of the fairway like mine was. I mean, that was a pretty crooked shot for me, to be honest, my, my the tee shot. Uh, and I was just off the fairway with a nice shot into the green. Chuck on the old Cameron champs. Man, they can go offline. Anyway, here we are. Oh, I'm sweating. It's really nice now. Um, okay, 132. Um, it's a wedge. Um, I still expect to get quite close with this. Leave myself one of those putts again. all over it I think can't see the bottom of the flag I think that was pretty good okay so here we go again so here we go again we got this one for birdie taking off my trousers you look wonky again <clears throat> Okay. All right, you lot. Well, that was that was just a good putt. That was all. That certainly wasn't the 50 yards, but yeah. Okay, I made birdie. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, it's a pretty good par four. Extra 50 yards would be handy here if I can keep it straight. All right. Well, I got a little bit of the rights going on today. But uh, again, if I had to guess now, that would be maybe 10 paces right of the fairway with maybe an eight iron into the green. I've got a bad feeling about this extra 50 on that one. Oh God. It's hard work this, you wouldn't have thought. I mean, maybe you guys should try this when you're out with your buddies. But it's got to go on that line. Quite a fun exercise. If you had Cameron Champ speed for a day, <laughs> what would you do with it? I personally couldn't be trusted with it. I mean, with my extra 50, I could have carried that bunker easy. That bunker is really carryable anyway, but you kind of don't want to go over there too far. So for me, I usually go to this flat spot here which does run out over there a little bit, but uh, ordinarily it's okay. Right, it was a bit shorter than I thought. It's actually just here, but the tee was back there. And so on this line, we're going this way. <laughs> 50, okay. Uh, oh, take some getting used to. Okay, so we're here now. Great. 
no shot really, I've got a chip over. Where is that? I had like a A turn in. I mean, if I'd have caught that one in whatever the chances are of hitting the fairway with 135 swing speed, yeah, I might have been down there a long way and have a sand iron in, but look at the risk already. Okay, that's out. Hopefully back in play, I think so. I'm gonna have to do a, another miracle chipping putt for me. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But, uh, you know, it's like 70, 70 yards. That is not what I wanted. Again, I could hold this putt and keep me going. But, uh, pin high, it'll be another good putt if I get it. Probably the same length as the last one. Right, all right, I got that one as well. Bloody hell, my pattern's ridiculous at the minute, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> But that shouldn't have happened. You know, that should have been, that was a, that was like a 20% a putt. I should have held that one maybe 20 or maybe 25% of the time. And that's going on tour averages, you know. Anyway, all right, that's a putt. All right, I'm one under, fair enough. But I don't think it's got anything to do with the blooming driving, that's for sure. I feel like I've been in nothing but out of position the whole time. Right, here we go. We've got a short power four here. Now this one, law of averages. Got to get one straight. Not the best of strikes. Not the best of strikes, but it'll do. Um, yeah, I kind of healed that one a bit, but those Healy ones, are always dead straight, aren't they? Typical. Okay, so I'll pick this one up. Two, three. Fifty, and it was dead straight, so I'm gonna drop it there. Now that, that helped, that helped a lot because I thought I was gonna be in that nasty 40 yard range, but I've got like the most simple up and down you're gonna have. So I'm almost marking a birdie down already here failing something ridiculous. <clears throat> Still place in here. Uh, the only problem I've got here is, um, the only problem I've got is, uh, uh, I, uh, there's a sprinkler right in the place where I want to land it. But it doesn't matter, it'll be fine. Still should get this close enough. Pitch on that front edge, just let it roll out. like that, easy enough. And that, yeah, that was an easy birdie. So I will give the long balls, I'll give them that, that was simple. Okay, <clears throat> two under, hmm. Nice long par four. <clears throat> Should be good for my champ yardage. Got to keep it straight though. Anything right that's gonna be gone. Definitely got them going a little bit right today. Right, this is one of those holes. You just miss the center of the fairway and it can run off quite sort of quite nastily. So here's my ball. Absolutely fine. Uh, Probably a nine iron in, very good chance of making a birdie. But because we're on the angle back again, we were heading at this bush. You know where this is going, don't you? Okay, I'm not sure quite what to do here. So I'll pick it up. So, one, two, three, four. 
28, 29, 30. Okay, so I'm gonna be deep in there. So what I'm gonna do, just for the experiment, I'm gonna say that I found it in there and I'm dropping it out. I mean, I would be deep in there, but let's just drop it here for now because I can't be bothered to walk around. But that would be probably three off the tee and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so I would have been in there deep, but just for the uh, purposes of this experiment, <laughs> loosely based, um, I'm just gonna take a two club lens drop out, pretend that I found it just there, just so we can keep going. But you get the idea. Um, whereas I had a nice little nine on in from there, I'm now, Playing three. It's probably quite good in fairness. All right. Okay, so that was a bogey. And uh, all right, I made a birdie on the last, but in all honesty, that was kind of like a generous bogey there because I would have been 50 yards into those bushes and um, dropping back would have been not an option because it would have gone deeper into the, into the forest. So I'd have had to have gone back to the tee to hit another one and going on recent form, that could have been just as far off, which wasn't very far off line, but you add the 50 and suddenly whew, you're a long way off line. It's those angles. But all is not lost, we got a par five here. We're back to one under. Well, really looking forward to ripping this one. Okay, I got a theme going. I've missed the fairway to the right, but I did carry this bunker. And we're here, par five. Let's get it up there, another 50. It is on the angle a bit, so let's go. I'll take my trolley this time. Okay, nine, 50. Okay, drop it here. Okay, so we did have, we did have, um, I would say, a five iron in, and now we've got probably an eight iron. So let's have a look. One sixty. It's a seven iron. Yeah, that's good. Clip that tree, do you see that? I really hit it well off that down slope. I clipped this little tree, which weirdly enough made it go a little bit further. It sort of took, took the spin off when it hit the green. Looks like it might have just rolled through the back a little bit. But uh, that's in good shape, that's fine. Long eagle pup. threatening was it? Take a birdie though. I've got to say I normally expect a birdie there anyway because it's short of half five. Um, but yeah that was nice, the extra 50 was nice there. Right well that's halfway through. Uh, hopefully you're finding this interesting. I, I'm finding it quite interesting. Um, these little exercises are good fun to do. Um, if you're new to the channel thanks very much for subscribing. Hope to see you again. Um, I'm gonna do the back nine of this uh, next week. So we'll see how that goes. Now we've got some tricky holes, a lot of par five, so it may be good, it may be bad, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna to continue to play now and I'll edit this one for next week. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week, hopefully you've got some sun and uh, drop me a comment down below. So tell me if you like these kind of uh, videos or um, maybe give me a nod on what to do next time. But uh, a little bit of 
do a little chat. Thanks very much. I'll see you next week, guys.